right, hello everybody and welcome back. We are playing some more Final Fantasy XIV today. Uh, we pretty much are picking up exactly where I left off last night. So when I logged off, uh, we literally just finished the storyline for Heavensward. And then right now we are starting, I believe it's technically called the uh, Dragon Song War quests it's pretty much all the patches between heaven sword and uh the storyline of stormblood so i'm gonna pick up the first quest and we're gonna jump right into it for uh for today that's exactly where we're at so we'll see how this goes now we just returned back from all that uh commotion and everything with uh what was it thanalon the uh king and then also some other uh dragon stuff <laughs> and some Asian. so that was uh that was fun Okay, so we have to go meet with Sir Amic. Aramic. Sounds good. And then something about some sort of student. Uh, so bef between last night and today, I actually ended up going online uh, and I watched a full, full recap of everything before Final Fantasy XIV, like before... Um, a Realm Reborn came out. So I watched the whole video on that by Comic Story and it was actually really good and uh, really w well done. And then I also read a little bit about uh, Bahamut because I never really knew much about him. So I found out some uh, pretty cool information about that. And then finally, uh, after pretty much all that, I I uh, went on to getting a recap on, uh, let's see, where are we going? Forgotten Night. Uh, I watched a recap on pretty much all of A Realm Reborn, then the storyline between A Realm Reborn and Heaven Sword, and then, even though I just finished it, a recap on Heaven Sword. And honestly, with doing all that, I feel like has been worth it. Because now I feel like I I know a whole lot more and it makes a whole lot more sense for the storyline and everything else. Um, so I, I would say it was worthwhile because it really brought me back up to speed. And I feel like I have a better understanding than I did when I even left the game. Because, uh, I mean, there's so much dialogue. So, so much. But after watching those videos and the breakdowns, I feel like it's helped me uh, appreciate it more. And then also know more more like what exactly is going on. So. Thank you for coming. I wish to speak with you both in a place where privacy was assured. We quite understand. What was it that you wished to discuss? With my father's passing, the seat of the Archbishop lies vacant. And so, in accordance with canon law, I have assumed his responsibilities. Oh, he said canon lore. I should stress that this <laughs> is a temporary measure. It was never intended that the Lord Commander of the Temple Knights serve in this capacity indefinitely. Quite the opposite. The statutes specify that I should surrender my powers as soon as a conclave of the senior clergy and the high houses have named a new Archbishop. But in light of recent events, that would not seem appropriate. I confess I did not expect you to divulge quite so much quite so soon. The details of the Archbishop's plans, perhaps. 
But the true origin of the war and all it entails? I too had concerns. But when the Warrior of Light is witnessed returning to the capital upon the back of a dragon, one's options are rather limited. Mayhap I could have concealed certain details, but for how long? And at what risk? Should the truth have come to light in the meantime, how would the people have viewed my silence? After a thousand years of lies and secrecy, I could not well abuse their trust and hope to be believed. The time for deception has passed. I only wish the people agreed. That some would deny the truth I had anticipated, but not this many. And among the few who acknowledged that my father had to be stopped, no small number question our methods. If they suspect a coup, it will not be long before some turn to violence. It has already begun, and that on both sides. Men and women of the cloth are being harassed in the streets. Some have even been assaulted in the broom. Hilda and her people have formed a watch to help us maintain order. But such measures will not prevent the unrest from spreading. For all our talk of peace, the people remain frightened and confused. For their sake, we must bring the Dragonsong War to a definitive end. And we should be glad to help you, Sir Emmerich. But what precisely would you have us do? We wish to treat with the dragons of Annex Trine. To that end, I would trouble you for an escort and an introduction. Annex Trine? You would speak with Vidofnir then? We must needs open a dialogue between our peoples. Acting as my representative, Lucia will extend an invitation to their leader that she might visit us here in Ishgard. Were she still with us, I would of course have beseeched Isel's assistance in this matter. But as she is not, I must ask that you aid us in her stead. Will you do us this favor? But of course. Thank you, my friends. Lucia, I leave the rest to you. In the wake of the Archbishop's fall, the nation of Ishgard trembled, the faith of her people shaken to its very core. For a thousand years had they fought and died, certain of the justice of their cause, only to be told that their holy war was born of the sins of their forefathers. What then for those brave men and women, thus stripped of their righteousness but to despair, to deny the truth and decry its speakers? And what then for those whom they defamed but to hope on, to have faith in a brighter tomorrow? A tomorrow in which man and dragon might live together in harmony, then as distant as the very stars in the heavens. Yet while we dared to hope, deep within his lair the enemy lay gathering his strength. Nidhogg, now possessed of his two eyes and the body of the Azure Dragoon, prizes to which he had laid claim at the very hour of the hero's triumph. As desperately 
years we sought the solace of peace. The great worm craved the misery of war. Nor was he alone in his misbegotten desire. And so another journey begins. I'm ready. All right, so we need to go speak with uh, Tataru. I've still been really, really having a lot of fun with uh, the class changes and everything still. So I, I can't wait to see uh, what else comes. Do I have this one saved? Yeah, I do. Okay. I'm just looking real quick to see what uh, outfits I have. I'm going to actually throw this one on. Been a little bit. One of the, uh, the first free companies I was ever in gave me this shirt and pretty much built this, uh, this outfit for me. So I figured I would rock and roll with it. Tatharu, hello, hello. Wait, we do have a baby behemoth. Wait, is that mine? Oh no, that's, for some reason I thought that was mine. I don't know why. Wind up cane. Uh, let me get to my minion. Where, where's the uh, minion guide? Here it is. Wolf pup. I'm gonna bring my watermelon with me. Allegan melon. Follow me. All right, so back over to Luca again, or Lucia. Some free food, okay. I'll take some free food. Spell speed, some creme brulee, creme brulee. Rendezvous with Lucia outside Tailfeather. Uh, Dravania, Tailfeather. Okay, I think. Wait, that's not nearby us, right? Yeah, that's a whole other district. The Dravanian Forelands. I honestly don't really remember much of this place right now. Okay. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, do we have our, our pet with us? We do. Let me eat some food so I don't forget about that. Get that extra loot. Okay, we didn't really go that far for that. That works. For the most part, I think for like text options when we're outside of like cutscenes and things like that i'm i'm probably not gonna read all of it but i'm open to some parts if it's not horribly uh like long or if it or if it feels like it's very apparent to what's going on like if i don't even know what i'm doing in the quest oh, okay yeah i remember this place now 
Uh, let's go. How do we get up there? You go up. I think it goes around. Nope. Here it is. It is an honor. Indeed, you may speak. Man and dragon have locked in an endless cycle of bloodshed and sorrow. King Thordan and his twelve did willfully betray and murder the great... Uh, Rim... Wim... I, I always forget how you say that. For one thousand years, our leaders conspired to conceal a truth... ...which was laid bare by the warrior of light, the Azure Dragon. Isale once did, and you made a dream. Humbly beseech you, bid off near. Join hands with us in friendship. Most unexpected invitation. I have heard your request tonight, however, I cannot yet give you my answer. May I ask why? This matter concerneth my sire. So we're trying to befriend him, basically. Thou shalt have mine answer within thy lifetime. My humble thanks. Okay. So now he's going to talk to his leader, I guess. I went that. I would say that went rather well. To be frank, I'm not surprised her proposal was not rejected outright same same take this opportunity to speak with some of the other dragons by no further need of our service we shall continue on to the sarah lane that our prayer journey is swift and uneventful as ours was think no graver matter than a thousand year war Oh my god. I messed up. <laughs> there we go. I pressed escape at the last second. The one second that you're not supposed to. Rendezvous with Yastola in the Shrai. Uh something I oh man, some of these names. Ideal Shrier? Ideal Shrier? Ideal. Ideal Shire. Yestola. Wait, I thought I clicked on her. I have to walk closer. The heck? Wait for Alphanod and Yestola.
waiting. They're right there. They're standing right in front of us. Okay. Terribly sorry to have kept you all waiting. You need not apologize. We arrived but a moment ago ourselves. Pray, allow me to introduce Kral, who has recently come from the Charlian motherland. She has generously offered to assist us. Oh, please, think nothing of it. A trip to Eorzea was long overdue. You must be the warrior of light. Yes, you certainly do look the part. <laughs> A pleasure to meet you at last, sir. To you as well. And who is that I spy but young Alpha No Levy Yur himself? I dare say someone's grown an ill more too in my absence. Or are those lifts in your boots? We, um... <clears throat> Miss Croyle and I met at the studium years ago. I shall forever be indebted to her for her sage guidance. It was no small task keeping him out of trouble, believe you me. The youngest ever to enter the studium. Him and his sister, eleven-year-old prodigies. Suffice it to say, social graces were not among his list of talents. Striding up to his seniors on his first day, head held high. What was it he said again? Thank you, Kryle. For what? I haven't finished yet. Would you care to attempt a more dexterous deflection? <clears throat> Mayhap we should save this delightful conversation for a more fitting occasion, when pressing matters do not demand our undivided attention. A bit much, but better. I can tell you have been putting your skills to use here in Eorzea. Henceforth, I trust you will dazzle me with your eloquence at the first time of asking. Right, on to more pressing matters. Finding Minfilia and the other missing Scions. I gather you have new information to share with us. A new approach, actually. Tataru recounted the tale of your escape, and it gave me an idea. Simply put, assuming Thancred left some manner of trail when you whisked him away, as is almost always the case with teleportation magics, I am confident I can find and follow it. Then what are you waiting for? The wherewithal to do it. The fact is my abilities aren't quite up to the task. Not in themselves, anyway. If I had Master Matoya's crystal eye, on the other hand... Then let us all call on her forthwith. I think it best that you explain your plan to her in person. I'd like it to pick up my mail. Well, oh, thank you. I also got Santa's beard. <laughs> I don't think it's going to work on this player, but that's all right. Do I need to do anything specific with these? Does it automatically like go into my uh, outfit selection? Already getting sidetracked. <laughs> Is there an inn here?
That's where you go, right? Uh, shop. That. Repairs. Shop again. Trader. Hmm. Is there an inn here somewhere? There is that then I can go to the room. I don't know if there is though. I don't think there is. Might have to go to uh, Limsa. How do you get? The, where is that? Limsa and Lominsa? In. There it is. Wait, actually, where's my recall to? Ah, yes. Free. And then we'll just come back here. I just want to see if the this uh, outfit I just got is available. I don't know if you can even use it on this character technically, or on this race, but I guess we'll we'll find out. The hat uh, might not be able to be used, but we'll see. Uh, all right, so we go over. Where's the little, I think the closest one is this guy right there. The alley one. Oh my God, bad baby. <laughs> okay. The closest to the inn would be right here. tapping R to auto run. Okay, who can let me into the inn? Innkeep, here we are. Retire to an inn room. And here we are. Lamo dresser. Okay, edit glamour plates. So if we go to five here, open armor. Uh, I forget how this works. Robe of casting. What happened to all those? That copy of clothing I got. It's in your armory chest. Also, <laughs> what's going on? You have X press C. Is it? Armory chest? Where's the armory chest? Wait, I know this. I know this. Gear slots?
Uh, I know this. I know this. Uh... In this menu? Oh. There it is. Okay, so now that box. Aha. Cast glamour. So that's how I turn it into glamour. Oh, whoops. <laughs> so many yeah. answered my question from earlier. There wasn't in there. Uh, oh wait, no, I'm trying, I'm not trying to cast a glamour onto that. I want to turn it into a glamour. Um, there's that. Wait, no way. I can actually wear this. Ooh. 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 Go to the glamour dresser and use the window on the top right that shows up. Huh. Window, top right. Boom. Aha, right, right. Okay, yeah, yeah. Now I remember. Now I remember. All right, so if we go to head... And then we go to that piece of gear. This one. Yes. Boom. Legs and feet. Yes. Ears and neck. I don't know if it came with any ears and neck pieces. I don't think it did. I don't think it did. All right. All right. Then we go to this one. Uh, I don't know if it came with any of these. Wait, what? Hmm? Yep, top left, northwestern part of the map. Sorry, just to make sure you gain right. Hmm? Uh, wait, was it? So I did. Is that it? Is that all it was? Top piece. I thought there was three pieces. Well, let me see. Wheel. Or I thought there was four. Here it is. That's the final one. Legs. L. Wheel. Okay, there is five. There it is. Got it. Okay, now we can go to this. Then go to five. Then go to... Uh, change this to that. This to the, the uh, what? Huh? Huh? Can I not wear that? have the feet. Wait, where's the chest piece then? The scar changes. Wait, not in there. Oh. Thank you. 
Okay. Uh, I guess I missed it. Wait, head, body. Here it is. What the heck? I thought I did yes. Okay. Now it's there. Now we go to five. Now we hit this. Now we hit that. Now we hit that. Then we hit that. Then we hit that. And I think that's it. Save. And this keeps everything else off. But wait, now if I go here and then go there, can I die this? Uh, I forget how you do dying. Scar changes. Or do you have to do it in here? I glamour. Five. Uh. Uh. I know I can do it somewhere. Hammer plates. Right click, that re removes image from the plate. <laughs> they draw as if they're about to draw a sword. Um. Let's see, I know there's a way. Store, die. Wait, this one doesn't let you die it? This one lets you die. That one lets you die. That one lets you die. Oh, can you really not die it? Huh. Maybe not. Maybe you're stuck with it? I can remember how to open up this, then that, then that. Did a fly. Oh, wait, I think I have my hat hidden. There it is. Interesting. We have a book. I have knowledge. I feel like this will work better when I uh, change races or or something or change even outfits, but that's okay, whatever. Uh, anyways, a lot of stuff from the Mog store isn't dieable. Oh, well now you know. Now, the more you know, I guess. Now I know. Yeah, I actually didn't know that. Once you make your own way over to our world, I can give you a bunch of nice clothes and <laughs> fashion. I can look cool. I want to look cool. Huh. Go look up the casual attire coffer on the marketplace. Is there a marketplace right here? I don't think there is. Shoot. I want to look like this. Wait a minute. 
I can look like that. Wait a minute. I can. <laughs> That's clouds. I can look exactly like that. Or I can look like this guy. Or I can look like... Oh, okay, they're gone. Or I can look like... Uh, to mix them near in Final Fantasy stuff, it looks like. Or I can look like this guy. Wow, that's a very strong face. Or this guy. We got Robin Hood over here. Or this lady. This cat lady. Or this guy. Or, well, this person. Because I can't tell. Or I can look like this guy. Or I can look like this lady. Ooh. Yo, that looks awesome. Actually. Oh my god, that looks sick. I love how like that the um the robe kind of looks like uh an an Asian. Or th this guy. I feel so like I'm so tall. I don't know why, but last time I played, I really wanted to become a, uh, the dragon boy or whatever it is. Casual attire offer on the marketplace. I, uh, if I get close to a marketplace, I'll look for it. But right now, I don't know. Uh, yo, what's going on, Wayne? I'm a really new player. Only played for about two weeks. I have not even touched the glamour and fashion yet. Hey, I'm, I would say I'm, I'm still, I still consider myself a fairly new player, even though I've had a good amount of time in this game already now, but same, like fashion part is, it's kind of complex for, for, I mean, it, it's not too complex, but it also is like mixing and matching can be a little bit, uh, rough. So it's a lot of it takes a lot of research in my opinion like there's a lot of uh seeing what shirts and trying things on and all of that to either make your own stuff or or find a uh pre-made thing out there so same <laughs> MSQ just got punched, uh, just gut punched my emotions, the whole Waking Sands thing. I know. It gets, uh, there's a lot to it. <laughs> I watched a, uh, a recap on a whole bunch of things today for not only, uh, Right now, I'm past uh, Heaven Sword. I just finished that uh, main expansion, but I'm doing the patch quest line now, or the patches quest line. And I watched the recap of everything before A Realm Reborn, everything in A Realm Reborn, everything after A Realm Reborn, and then Heaven Sword. And. I feel like it gave me a really good understanding of everything again um because there's so much to it and it's easy to forget a lot of stuff but it's it's been a lot of fun i feel like watching the the stuff about uh before realm reborn gave me like a better appreciation of everything going on and why it matters so much do every side quest I find because I love questing. The one thing that I've always heard, of course, always, if you love doing the quest, 
keep doing them. The one thing that I've heard is um, doing the main storyline for the most part will take you to the uh, the level that you need regardless and then using uh, side quests for separate jobs like later on in the game. At least that's what I've always heard people say. I think doing the blue ones though are worth doing. Sometimes, depending on your situation and how you feel. <laughs> hey, you're not too far into it, so you're doing perfectly fine anyways. But the only thing is, um, that's what I've always heard is if you ever plan on doing a second job, that uh, doing the side quest then can make it a lot more fun because then you get to go back to different areas and like now you just focused all the side questing content instead of going around to just grinding just to level up that job. But of course, you know, play how you want. If you enjoy grinding it out and doing every side quest, then do it. You know, you don't have to do that. That's just one recommendation that I've, I've always heard. So personally, I've been sticking to the main story. But if you enjoy it, keep doing it. I will say the main story quest will give you tons and tons of stuff. Tons and tons of questing to begin with. Forgive us, Master Matoya. We will be sure to wipe them on the way out. And may I say how glad I am that age has not yet deprived you of your senses. Ever so quick-witted, aren't we? To the detriment of your manners. Well, out with it then. What do you want? Pray, allow me to introduce myself, Master Matoya. I am Cryo, of the students of Baldessian. I hope you will excuse our unannounced visit. Baldessian, you say? Ah, oh, yes. The old coot set up shop on the Isle of Val, didn't he? Regrettably, our Order's headquarters and the Isle itself were obliterated by a magic of immense power. I have the blessing of light to thank for my own preservation. Cry, you too possess the Echo. Well, yes, of course I do. Our order is devoted to uncovering the mysteries of Hydaelyn and interpreting her will, particularly through the study of her gift to us. It was in the course of these studies that I met and subsequently befriended Minfilia. She and I have rather a lot in common. I had no idea. You weren't supposed to. Not that I wanted to deceive you, you understand, but precautions had to be taken. Yes, yes, that's all well and good, but you still haven't told me why you're here. The students of Baldessian are gone, and there is naught I can do to change that. But the signs of the Seventh Dawn can yet be restored, and my dear friend found. You have in your possession an ancient crystal of light, one you call your crystal eye. I believe I can use it to focus my abilities and locate one of the missing scions. And there I was, thinking you might want to make use of my years of experience. Oh, wait here. Long did I ponder the nature of this crystal and its familiar radiance. But never did I suspect it was a crystal of light. On the cusp of an umbral calamity, souls blessed with the power of the Echo invariably appear. To aid these her chosen warriors, Hydaelyn bequeaths to each a slither of her strength in the form of a crystal of light. But as her strength wanes, so too does the potency of her gifts. 
This crystal, born of an earlier era, is infused with a power far greater than those of this age. You could travel the length and breadth of the land and not find a crystal even a fraction as pure. Its value is beyond measure, as are the risks inherent in its use. No two manifestations of the Echo are alike. I, for example, can converse with beings of every shape and size, excepting beasts, contrary to what others would have you believe. Language has nothing to do with it, of course. Rather, I am sensitive to the whispers of the soul, their intent, their very essence even, the traces of which serve to guide the elementals to Yishtola. Far-fetched though it may sound, I believe that with your crystal eye, I may be able to pick up where they left off and follow the remaining trail to Thancred. That is, if I have your permission. Well, the poor sod's not going to find himself. So, as long as you don't drop it or take it out of my sight, you may do with it what you will. Thank you, Master Matoya. Then let us begin. Hunters of Tailfeather know those lands well. I say we begin our search there. say i genuinely i uh, really enjoyed new world during the beta or the uh, technically the alpha the the alpha early access thing i i loved it i could not wait for the game to release and it came out and it just i don't know it let alone having so many issues that it has had Maybe in two or three years, that game will either be dead or hopefully they'll make a difference. We'll see. But yeah, this game is, uh, I would, so in my honest opinion, Final Fantasy XIV is my second favorite MMO. Second. I do have a number one and the number one spot for me personally is still Star Wars The Old Republic. But Final Fantasy XIV does a whole lot of things differently that I also really like and I still really enjoy. It took me a bit to get into this game. It took technically three tries. But once I got into it, that's when, uh, when I really started appreciating it. And now I also uh, appreciate it a whole lot more especially after this update and and how currently um summoner plays i really like how summoner plays and per uh, another thing that i kind of am worried for or well hope is that once i do hit level 90 because you get the the whole your summons completely change which once you hit level 90 in this game uh because you unlock the what is it? Uh, Garuda 2 and 
uh, Ifrit, Ifrit 2, or Ifrit 2 and Titan 2, all of those are going to be amazing. Uh, but I, I just hope that there's still a lot of stuff to do once I do hit 90. So we'll see on that part. But I think there will be. From what I hear, there, there is. So we'll have to wait and see. Does this automatically turn to... Okay, it does turn to Ruin 3. There's a lot of stuff that, to do at even 90. Good. That is... I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> That's... I My problem in games, especially MMOs, is I hit max level. I complete the whatever story content that they have. And then I stop. Still haven't done a lot of that content. Is it like... Does it take you through like quest lines like like this or do you have to actually know where you're going? Finish the story and have over 2k hours now. Jeez. <laughs> it's an excellent game. That would be number two. I also liked ESO and Rift, but Final Fantasy 14 is number one for me. ESO is, is a great one as well. I put ESO as like my number three. MMO. Now... It's surprising, but today I put out a tweet. Um, I'm going to try out uh, the Secret World or Secret World Legends over my uh, new New Year's break, mainly because it's a game that, well, number one, there's not going to be a lot of people saying that they can play it in 2022 yet, so... Uh, number one, when people look up Secret World Legends 2022, hopefully, if I get that algorithm right, my uh, video might be one of the top ones that come up. But we'll see. Uh, that's one, but also, uh, I don't know how much longer the game has. Uh, with, a, with a game that has less than 100 players at times and hearing so many good things about the storyline over the years um i figured it's time for me to finally jump into it and just take it full force right into the game stick with the story try to get as far as i can and then put it down and see where it goes from there um that's a game where i feel like it's gonna it, it, any day they could be like, servers will be shutting down on next month or the end of this month. Like, it, it's there's no way it's that profitable at this point. So I, I want to try to get what I can out of it. In the meantime, though, I'm still going to be playing Final Fantasy 14. I think I'm just going to be kind of going back and forth between them. Maybe have a dedicated day where I play secret world legends and then the rest of the days play final fantasy 14 um because it's really only about like a a 50 hour game i think or can be but this i know is way longer so but I, i'm curious how the uh the story is going to be for that because there's like full-on cutscenes with your character and i've seen a lot of a really good things so I'm curious where I'll put that game on my list once I do uh, complete it.
Come out here, have a conversation, and then quest complete. That's the one thing that's so interesting for Final Fantasy. There's so much traveling in this game. I can't fly here. You know, I, I should be going for all of those, uh, not the, what is it, the, the wind things, wind, air, uh, aether shards, or I forget what they're called, the currents. I should be going for them, but I'm just, I feel like I would get way, way, way too sidetracked, even though it could make such a difference when I do come back to these areas. Going to Loth Ost Noth. Honored Elder, we thank you for your help. Go, great hunters. Proceed to. Okay. And just like that, we are off again. That, this has only, has been my only complaint in, in Final Fantasy fourteen. It is just the amount of traveling between locations and constantly just you're always you're always on your mount going to the next area to get into a conversation to go to the next area to get into another conversation uh but you kind of just accept it like today i've been on for about an hour and 20 minutes and granted i did do a little bit of fashion uh but <laughs> even though i did a little bit of fashion i haven't done a single battle yet with uh, the new combat system. Now I probably will break that because we're about to go in one right now, it looks like. But still. Here we go. <laughs> Fashion is the true end game. Anyways, true. Not wrong. I really do want to find out how to get that uh Stormblood PvP stuff once I reach that point. Who else could be? Thancred. It could be Thancred. We must hurry. Almost every day, I've been checking to see if homeworld transfers have returned. Every day. You're not the only one, I'm sure. Wait, have we met them before? Wait, those people? These are the people from before a realm were born, right? These guys are new? That that's the people from before. I recognize them. Oh. Oh. The echo. Yes. <laughs> this day we reclaim the reins of history. This day we rid ourselves of the Asians forever. 
Fools playing at heroes, all of you. Is this how you believe you can save your world? We can and we will, Asian. You shall see. Or perhaps you will not! So you are the warrior of light, the savior of Eorzea. No, it's funny. I was literally going to like it's a try to look up their sooner, names. What with the primal and all. Lost a step, have we? Have care. The ether moves strangely around him. It would seem we share a common enemy. Mayhap you would tell us who you are. A name. What is their names? Shall we show them? Yes. Oh. That was a great angle. Holy. And crud? These cutscenes are getting better. Dun, dun, dun. Not very sporting of you to interrupt, but so be it. <laughs> they get exponentially better Mark with well each our expansion. Faces, warrior of light, for we are the warriors of darkness. Uh -huh. Walk is of a different path. And we shall meet again. The Warriors of Darkness. Warriors of Darkness? Really? Grow out his hair. Thancred, are you all right? Pleasantries can wait. I'd rather not be here when the Nath arrive. Agreed? Is that a different voice actor for him? them I think suffice it to say our reunion oh, is not yes. at all as I pictured it 
waiting until More the last dialogue instant cutscenes. to join the fray. With voice this acting. Plane, you have not lost your appetite Love for the it. dramatic. My appetite for the dramatic. Have you forgotten the circumstances of our party? The heroic last stand, the tunnel filling with light, and then... Oh. Had I known you intended to use forbidden magics to deliver me to some god's forsaken wilderness, I would have thanked you in advance. Thank Rid. If nothing else, you might have warned me that I would emerge from the live stream in the altogether. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Eventually, I managed to fashion knives from some obsidian I found and set about hunting for meat and hides. <laughs> Given that I'm not all that skilled in leatherworking, it's probably for the best that I met the Vath before I was reunited with you. I like his outfit too. So it looks you pretty were cool. the fleshling clothed in skins of whom the storyteller spoke. A description which fit me as ill as the skins themselves. Happily, I was able to trade with the Vath for garments better becoming a man of refinement. Ooh. From them, I learned of Ravana, and of the great warrior who had once laid him low. And thence did you conclude that some were pieces you from to this for the, the primal's set? movements, it would surely bring you into contact with the scions once more. It seemed a reasonable assumption. I could think of no one else with your enthusiasm for slaying beastmen gods. Until now, that is. Ah, yes. The self-proclaimed warriors of darkness. Tis only fitting that they stand in opposition to the warrior of light, I suppose. glimpsed the leaders past, if only for a moment. They were confronting a man in black. An Asian, I think. <laughs> if these warriors are capable of doing battle with Asians and primals both, they must be possessed of powerful protection. Protection not unlike the Echo. Nice. A little slow, a little late. That, yeah. So, like, that right there was great. Great cutscene. Great interaction. Storytelling. Like, now I'm excited. Especially because, like, it's funny because today I, I watched a video on the pre-events that kind of explained everything before Realm Reborn. So knowing that it made meeting uh, the Warriors of Darkness even cooler. Because this entire time I've been wondering, like, after watching that, where are they? Like, I was almost thinking that the Warriors of Darkness was me. Like, I thought that those characters were just the player created people in the game. So uh, I like, I thought that was it because I couldn't find anything mentioning them. Like I didn't see anything about that. And now that like we actually got to see them and I instantly could tell it was them by just by their outfits. So that, that was great to see and now I'm even more excited Mourn my beloved who gave her the forge of peace. Thy king betrayed. 
entrusted the choice to us and we made it. We will keep faith with you who walk in the light. Ah, let it be known that I, Vidnir, shall journey into Ishgard. We are honored to receive your answer. Beautiful. It's happening. Even as the Scions celebrated the return of a long-lost friend, Honorable men plotted to deprive them of another. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Honorable men, to whom Sir Emmerich was no hero, but a scheming patricide. <gasps> Don't let him get away. Honorable men who would fain wash the paving stones of foundation with the tyrant's blood. Honorable men whose knife in the dark was the spark which set the city aflame and who sang as it burned. Uh oh. That is not good. Oh boy. How do I see how much gill I have? Oh wait. Yeah, we got one. Yeah. <laughs> Bottom right. I always get nervous. I mean, in the grand scheme, we probably don't have a whole lot, but regardless. MSQ gives a fair amount of gill along the way. Nice. Yeah, most of them I haven't really ever spent it. Other than like fast traveling. I spent maybe a little bit on the market. Nice. We have exactly 69. Uh, before I forget, isn't there a way to system configuration sound? Play music when mounted. That turns off the mount music, right? And then does the city or the area mount or music play instead? Great tidings indeed. Yes to both, nice. Do you still leave the mount music on or no? Out of curiosity. I feel like I just miss out a lot. Turned it off forever ago. Okay, I was gonna say. I feel like it, you miss out on like the area's new music because you're like constantly going to new places. So when I mount up, I feel like I'm missing that. But hopefully with that turned off, feels a little better then. I always thought she was pretty cool. The end credit of the signs of the seventh dawn. My lady. End credit. Never mind. Never mind. 
You know what? I'm gonna stick with it. Tancred and, and Hilda would make great children. <laughs> I was gonna drop it, but I'm gonna stick with it. They I mean look at them. They're they're both fit. He she's got the gun, he's got the like they're they're literally like <laughs> like they're they're a, a complete match they would be able to defend their family off like forever you know like they, they would be literally like dream children they'd probably get like scholarships to the uh ishgardian college of fine arts they'd get like every everything they it'd be perfect for them Hilda has a great, uh, a great hairstyle that I want. It does look pretty cool. Like, I mean, just look at them. That is quite the fan story. I, I guarantee there's, like, I, I can totally see them together. A fantasy. I guarantee if you look hard enough, there's something out there like it. <laughs> R slash... Rule 34. Hilda and Thancred can only imagine. <laughs> this game in general, I mean, just Final Fantasy 14 in general. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Question the Ishgardians in Hoplon. You have no idea what data our data center is like. <laughs> I did. I, okay, so I did see. Wait, is it the data center or the world? Crystal is the most RP heavy data center. God. I did see that the world is kind of RP, I, th I think. There's there's like a subreddit out there that like explains like. Oh, how raid heavy. Bryn Hilder is, is the world. Data center is a server encompassing the worlds. Okay, yeah. Crystal. Uh. Time to have a chat. Yeah, so like right now I'm on Aether and then the world Genova. My my queue time, how's the, the queue times for you guys right now? Mine wasn't too bad. I, I got home and um I got home around 540 and then right after I logged into my computer and put myself in queue. There's about 800 people but it took about 20 minutes like i got to eat dinner and then by the time i was done and came upstairs like i was already in the room i was pretty non uh non-existent at this point nice crystal doesn't raid that much gotcha so do people accuse her at under 100 even at peak okay Um, typically how many people are usually online, like around, like in the, are there people in the guild that are not in the rebel discord or I mean the free company? Like two. Uh, okay. <laughs> like two people online or two of them. But I let them join Rebel Discord anyways. Gotcha. Damn. 
Do we have a lot of people that play? So like, I I'm waiting for my my one friend Soldier Pat's probably gonna swap, because originally he was gonna world transfer to me, but now once it's open, we're both going to world transfer, like four people. Okay, gotcha. Okay, so it is about the same. Uh, I, yeah, I see most people on uh, Steam a lot of times. I'll see it show up. Rendezvous with Alphanod in the broom. All right, we got the captive. Although we have like four people out outside on, on other worlds. Yeah, all right. Link shell the talking big party, basically. Okay. Yeah, I've, I've heard of uh, link shells. Link shells are data center specific. I guess. But not world specific. That's right. And can you see the link, link shell in game? You can always see it. Okay. Even if you're in an instance. Nice. <laughs> My dog is at the window behind me. Cause the window is open, so she's just putting her nose to it, sniff sniffing outside. So cute. Uh, okay, so forgotten night. Ah. Oh. I can't wait. I'm just waiting for the day they're like, it's back. And then I can finally like see some people's characters like in game and all that. It's always a surprise too. Like as you're running around questing, like who you run into. Like I, I'll see people and be like, oh my God, I know that person or I know that guild or that free company. I always thought that was such a cool thing. When you start, even when you start running into complete randoms and you see them, their name again, you're like, oh, there's that person. I'm all accessory offending slaying. Uh, is there a difference between these two? Should I do offending or slaying? I think it's cool to recognize fending is tanking. Oh, okay, so slaying. Okay. Uh, I think it's always cool to recognize people in game. I made a few friends like that. Yeah, there was like one person I remember. Um, I was running around. It might have been this person, or or this one. I forget which one. But I, we kept running into each other as we were questing uh, during Heaven Sword. So then I was like, and, and we started helping each other a little bit too with uh, like enemies in the area that we had to I kill. To so I was like, all right, have a good one. But until we identify like, the ones who ordered the fire set, our work is far from that's finished. What, the community in this game is the best. Between the various conservative and religious factions in Ishgard, I dare say there's no shortage of parties who would like to see the status quo preserved. Do any likely suspects spring to mind? Very friendly all around. Ex Far too exactly. many to count. <sighs> Lord Commander, your wounds. Are healing well. Thank you. Time is of the essence. Lest we forget, these men would sooner put their own city to the torch than see it change. 
When our enemies learn that we have apprehended their arsonist, there is no telling how they will react. Look, Commander! An armed mob has seized control of the vault! And now we know. Tell us what happened, sir. Spare no detail. We were directing refugees into the Basilica, as you ordered, when all of a sudden, men brandishing weapons were all around us. It happened so fast, my lord. We had no time to respond. They've taken the refugees hostage and barricaded themselves inside the vault. And they sent you to deliver their demands. They, the true brothers of the faith, demand that a conclave to select the next archbishop be held forthwith. Furthermore, they, they declare that you, Lord Commander, are guilty of patricide and high treason, and that you must surrender yourself at once to receive of the Fury's judgment. Ridiculous! I mean, do they honestly think that executing Sir Emmerich would change anything? That the truth will somehow die with him? These fundamentalists rage against the passing of the old ways. Unable to accept there can be no going back. Given the fanciful nature of their demands, a peaceful resolution does not seem likely. If the hostages are to be rescued, it will be by force, I fear. Agreed. Lucia, take a contingent of knights and establish a perimeter outside the entrance. At once, Lord Commander. Hilda, I need your people out in force throughout the broom. When word spreads of the situation, the friends and family of the hostages may try to take matters into their own hands. I will not give these militants more targets. I shall lead the assault on the vault. Master Alphano, can I count on the support of the science? Of course. We are in your debt. I shall join you as well, Lord Commander. Your assistance is most welcome, Lord Atuarel. To arms, then, friends. Time is against us. Rendezvous with them in the pillars. Uh, Jeweled Cozier. Uh, wrong way. Oh, we need to go up. There's not a way that you can see all of your uh, inventory slots, right? Or is there an auto sort? There is. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought there was. I was just like, where is it? Because I remember my stuff was character configuration. Uh, item settings. Oh my god. Based on category, normal, open all. There it is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was, I was like, there's gotta be a, I for, I thought, I wasn't sure. 
After that, uh, the reset of all your settings like messed me up. So like when I logged in, I was I was lost. Nah, I was. <laughs> I just didn't remember. I was like, is there is this a thing or am I just like not? Uh, this is gonna change my earrings, right? Yeah. All right, you even have to, damn, you even have to create new gear sets too. Whoa. What? <laughs> That's a change. <laughs> oh. I didn't even realize that. It's a classic what if I look if I've ever seen one. I might need, honestly change back to this. I, I feel like this is fitting for right now. Follow me, my lord. I did hear good things about the new classic looks that they have though, or apparently like they changed something. With Summoner, at least. I heard that, like, the armor got better. Something like that. They're all sets that look like that one. Uh, an OG look. Now, the one thing I haven't figured out with this yet is there's this timer that counts down from 25. Now, I don't know if he stays out for that long. I haven't figured it out yet because it looks like he's gone now. Oh, uh, wait, it spawns him, but then now I have Ruby outbursts for the next one second, then it goes away. Okay, I see, I see. Gem shining ruby outburst, okay. And then I have the other two. Now I'm starting to understand. So now if I call in this, yep, it changes this. Now I have Topaz Ruin which is single target. And then uh, Topaz outburst for the next 15 seconds. Okay, I haven't been using it like that. Down with you! She laying right there. Go with this. Uh, the counter right under the gem is how many spells you can use for that specific variation, it looks like. Two. Well, let's find out. So if I do this, so it goes for two. Now let's see, if I do one, that's Ruby. Okay, and then if I do this, 
Ruby again. Ah. You're right. You're right. One. Oh, this one lets us have three. Oh, right. I think Ruda and Ruby are so. You what underestimate is this considered? me. Topaz. Topaz gives you three. And this, whoa, this one gives you four? I love that ability. That one feels so good every time. And these astral, the astral impulse and the astral flare, those are great also. I see that. Oh my god, I think someone has logged into my account and said, hey. And I think that someone is my wife. The timer is how long you have to spend it. Hacked by the wife, I know. We're letting them battle. We guess we're going to let them battle until. See to the ho hostages, I will occupy the rebels. Hostages, backtrack, go, go, go. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun. This way. I think. Yep, then to the left. I've come to save you! See, yes yesterday I was just casting it one after the other. So I, w I wasn't like doing it like this. Oh, bonds untied. Go, go, go. Uh, I think you want those purple gems below the three gems filled for more damage. These two? Oh. The, so if I do uh, energy drain, okay, yeah, we can test that. Yeah, yep, that's when they fill. So, I, I didn't miss any, right? Bonds, where are the bonds? I can't even fight those. Da, da. You stole Where are the people that are trapped? We must go to his aid as once. Somewhere to the west, or west. Oh, over there. Yep, there they are. Hey, Mayor! I'm coming! Hold! Alright, let's try it. So, if we do this. So, now those two are filled. So let's do this. Uh, 
Is it doing more damage? Oh god. Hurry! Hurry! Go, go, go! See, when your clock is ticking there, you want to hit all three in that window. Uh... Oh, this? Wait. Hit all three, what? Hit your three in that window? Hit these three? I thought that when that... Oh, oh. In that window. No, duty... F oh, I just got back to him in time. <laughs> Damn. I mean the window and the hot bar? Hold on, I need some uh, candy to restore my my player's energy. Oh God. Put it back the way it was. <laughs> I don't think I even need that anymore. Wait, so we press this, we press number four. While this is counting down. Which one? There's a little gray circle. There. Like this. Clearing this. Just like that. Okay. While it's casting the ability. That's what's called le weaving abilities. Oh. It went down so fast I couldn't even do it right there. <laughs> In other words, maximizing dam damage. That makes Down sense. With you. So, like, when I'm casting this, I see. Sorry, my dogs. ability right there is practically instant. Kiara. It's over now.
I feel like I need to, I do need to readjust like my abilities. I haven't figured out how I want to do this just yet. It's kind of like out of order. You underestimate me. Especially when I barely use this ability. I forget what that is. Anything that doesn't have a little gray circle pop up is an off global cooldown or OGCD for short. Oh yeah, I do use Death Flame a good amount. Uh, hmm. I only really use it one time though. Hmm. Trying to think how I can do this. Like I always activate this as soon as it's available so that way it refills this right here. But right now I don't need to because I have these ready to go. Then we'll cast this and then we hit that and we'll cast this. Bada bing, bada boom. Bada bam. Bada sham. Bada sh shazam. My man, you are dead. Oh, shoot. What? Gotta release them. Hold on. Almost walked away. Generally, you want to. Uh, okay, I wrote that. I'm coming in, Rick. Hostages rescued. Why am I missing one? What happened? Where? Don't tell me. Oh no. What? It says one missing. Do I go to the front or to the back? I don't know. There's a battle going on back there, but I couldn't do anything. Okay, I'm going to the front. I don't know. I'm going to the front. Stay alive. Maybe he's the hostage. Or maybe when they get to the front, like, are they escaping? Oh no. Wait, no, take the aggro. Die! This knight does not yield! There it is. Oh my god. Wait, can I heal him? Can I heal him? Oh 
No, I can't heal him. Stay with us. Still didn't save one one hostage. Oh, there they are. Fury be praised. Nowhere to run. Release the girl and surrender. Surrender to whom? The blasphemer who throws wide the gates to our enemy, who breaks bread with him and calls him brother? Ungodly swine! I would sooner die than surrender to you. Is it godly to spill the blood of an innocent child? To burn the homes of your brothers? Tell me, priest, is that godly? Do not speak to me of godliness, heathen! Your father's blood is on your hands, as is hers! No way. No way. Well met, Knight. Mayhap I chose an inopportune moment. I literally thought all. she was going to splatter. Pray forgive us this most unworthy reception. We are honored to have you with us, and right glad of your aid. Even the impact would have been gruesome. The child unto me. I had but to receive her. Thank you for saving me. Thou art welcome, child.
never did I think to be indebted to so unexpected a savior. But full glad am I to be so. Friend of Izel, warrior of warriors, I had hoped to meet with thee. I bear a message from my sire. From Freysfelder? Upon returning to our lands, Nidhogg's shade did sing unto his brood, and they for skies unknown did then take wing. This thou must know, for your fates are inextricably bound. What of Estinian? Is he truly lost to us? Such matters are beyond my ken. I but bear my father's words. Take from them what thou wilt. Fare you well, mortals. So it is as they say then. A great white dragon swooped down from the heavens to rescue an innocent child. A most unexpected turn of events, but not an unwelcome one. The people will not soon forget this day. Yet how will they choose to remember it, Sir Emmerich? And will these events serve to bring man and dragon closer together? or drive a deeper wedge between brothers. After a thousand years, the world these men once knew is changing, and with ungentle swiftness to boot. Though their actions are misguided, their sentiments are only to be expected. You may be sure that others will rally to their cause. I share your desire for lasting peace with the Jovanians, I do. But I would not see it built on the bones of our countrymen, nor on our own. I see much of horsifying you, and I could not bear to mourn the passing of another son. Lord Edmund. Just wait for the cutscene. There it is. Okay. Uh, chat, hold on for just a minute or two. I need to take my doggo out really quick here. Uh. 